Hello, Bison Band. Welcome to some key signature identification. Today we are in level 12. So we are going all the way up to four flats today. Uh, we're also going up to three sharps. So our, our, new, uh, our new scale today that we're going to be identifying, our new key signature is going to be one that has four sharps in it. Remember that down here, I have a little bit of a, a sheet for you that you can access as you're doing this to check out um, the number of sharps or flats in the key signature um, and compare that if you need a reference. Now, one thing that's really important here is you need to remember uh, or need to know which flats and which sharps they are. Sharps are always added in the same order to the key signature, so are flats. It's important that we know that because when we're doing other activities like building scales, which is coming up in, in the next level, when you build these scales, you're going to need to know which notes are sharp and which notes are flat as you build those. Where we practice that and get ready for it is right here. Um, so let's think about that as we're going through this today. There's a couple rules that we can use for key signature identification that I think are really going to help us in addition to a couple key signatures that, well, we're just going to have to remember. So let's go ahead and build a couple together. Okay, so when you see a single sharp in your key signature, the rule for sharps, and this is gonna this is gonna go for all of the key signatures today that have sharps in them, is that we go out to the furthest sharp from your clef, which is right here, and then we take the letter name of that sharp. In this case, the center of the sharp here is the uh, is lined up with the line for F making this an F sharp, we raise that by one letter of our musical alphabet. So F goes up to G. So this would be the key of G. First thing I have to do is hit natural, and then I can answer with G. Green tells us that we're on the right track. Okay, next one, we've got three sharps. So I have to go to the furthest sharp away, out here, furthest one from your clef. The center of that sharp here is on your G space, and that means that this is a G sharp. Okay, my other sharps in this key, F and C, then of course this third one here is, is G. Um, going on my musical alphabet, it's very important to remember that when you get to G, the musical alphabet starts over when you go up, so really this is the key of A, and I have to go to natural, and then hit A. Um, now, this is one of those key signatures that you're just going to have to remember is what it is. Now, I heard a great way to remember this. Uh, another student suggested that they remember the key of F right here by saying that F has a flat. And so they remember that the F in flat and the F in the key of F helps them remember this rule. So the, the key of F is the one that you just kind of have to remember has only one flat in it. And then now every other key signature with flats in it follows a rule. And that is that you go out to the furthest flat. So it starts just like the sharp rule. And then we go back one. And that's the name of the key. So this is the key of B flat. So I go away to E flat. That's the furthest. I back it up one. That's B flat. Now if you see flats in the key signature with more than one flat, you're going to have to use the word flat in the key, and then add B. This is another one that we just have to remember. Uh, when we have no sharps or flats in our key signature, that is the key of C natural. Now this is our new key signature. This is the one I was hoping to see. Um, we start here at our treble clef. We go out to the furthest flat, which is right here. That's a D flat right there. And then I go back to the next closest flat, and that is A flat right there. And again, because there are more than one flat in this key, I need to use the word flat in the name of the key. So I come down here, I click flat, and then I click A. Um, when you get to 100 completed today with five or fewer errors, this will end automatically, and you can hit submit results. If you go over that number of errors, that's okay. Hit stop quiz, hit submit best effort, then go back and try it again. Um, if you have a question beyond what you saw in this video today, uh, make sure you either visit my office hours or use your Tone Savvy support request form, and I'll be right back with you. So good luck. Game on.